Hello hey friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, we are going to see a new transaction in towards HANA. So whenever there is a new product or new release from any of the product or application companies, they used to provide some additional features. So that may be in the code level, that may be in the functionality level. So in SAP, that may be in the transaction level as well. So there is a transaction we have already is SAC 16 and there is an extension of SAC 16 N and now is SAC 16 H. Uh, the same, it's not a new in any product. It's like in SAP we have scripts, smart form order be the same way. We have 16, 16 N and 16 H. So comparatively 16 and 16 N, 16 H has more than a table content. In 16 and 16 N, mostly we are going to see the content of the table or maybe we have we have an option to provide an input and maximum limits and you can see the technical name as well as the description in AC16N. It's a lot more compared to AC16 in AC16N. Uh, now in AC16H, one step ahead, it's not the transaction only to see the content, only one table of data, you can provide a joins. So mostly for functional people, they want to understand how the data is coming after joining multiple tables. Maybe that is for a custom report or they want to know how the data is just feeding an SAP side. So for them, it's very useful. They go with SAP 16H transaction. And even for technical side also, the best practice is before writing any code, if you have access to the database level, just make a SQL console, means just write a SQL code in the SQL console and make sure the output is correct and it is taking this much data and this much quant this volume of data is fetching, maybe in the quality side. So, but the problem is not everyone has the database user access. So that's a problem to access the SQL console. In that scenario, at least they may just check the joins in the table and they come to know, okay, these are the uh, output records is coming if you join these two tables. So those kind of informations are available in SC16 hedge and you can create n number of combinations for one table and you can save it. And whenever you need the project one, there's a combination, project two, there's a combination. So based on that, you can just create n number of, uh, uh, I can say, join conditions and you can save separately. Okay, so uh, those are the advantages in SC16 N transaction, sorry, SC16 H transaction. So a uh, few things about SD16 H, like 16, 16 N and SC16 H, and it's a more than a table browser. So we can perform a joins over here. And the options, you can see there is a group option, there is sequence option. Suppose I want to see the output after group as a particular field. I want to sort in the descending or ascending order. And uh, suppose if you feel it can be take a little longer, I can schedule as a background job. So it will create a background job in AC37 for your inputs, okay? And then uh, multiple settings are available over there, which is not available in the previous versions of uh, AC16 or 16N transaction. You have a batch option and technical information. So if you want to see the technical details, that's quite easy. So those are available over there. And no text here. What happens is by default, if you enter any table name, the table name has a text table configured already. Then by default, it will take the text table also. And there is an option called no. I don't want to see any data from a text table. There is an option called no text. Okay. And you can save the input, whatever input you have saved, you can save as a variant. That is another uh, the good thing in SA16 hatch. And uh, there is an option called get field. So these are the options which are available in SC16 H transactions. So we are going, we are going through all these uh, options in the system level and just play around with your own functionalities or own business requirement. So you try to understand uh, more better about the SC16 H transaction. So let's get into the system now. So this is my system and transaction is SC16 H. Okay. So the input, uh, input screen is a little bit different compared to 16 and 16N. So here you have a background options and select all, select only key fields or just uh, unselect everything. Then uh, you have a database connection. So um, suppose if you have a secondary database, if you want to run this on that particular database, then you can choose it. 
Um, normally we have only one, this is a rental system, we have uh, multiple systems here and then you have to enter the table name, uh, it's, it's taking from the previous one, so just enter MADA or it will take the text table as well if it is available. Suppose if you enter EKKO and text table is black, okay, so MARD and that's, it's coming MAKT. And now if you want to select all the things, I'm going to run only one particular, only one table, not combination of both. And I don't want to execute all, with all the fields as an output. So before that, let me execute this. Just you can see the output of Mara, nothing much here. Okay. Now if you go back and say, I don't want everything. So what you can do is just unselect everything. Suppose if you want to see only the material information, so just only the key field information are selected. So then use this option or if you want to select everything you can use everything so what i will do is let me get this i want material and i want a material type also to be selected so what i can do is i want that field to be added in the before material number okay so use this get field option suppose i want to i want this mtart as the first one so here it comes so you don't want to go to the menu bar and just say uh, I want these fields to be uh, selected, those things not required, either you can use get field for input fields and use the output option for the output fields, okay. And I want only these two and execute. So only these informations are coming and there is a, uh, by default you will get the count option, so how many count is there. I didn't use any group, so just uh, display the count as it is uh, based on the record. And uh, you have an option here itself. I'm just talking about only one table without any join condition as of now. And no text is, suppose if you see uh, MAKT, uh, by default, you're able to see the fields. So this is a little remote, so come on. So all the fields uh, end up, at the end of the table input screen output, you're able to see MAKT fields also. And if you say no text, and what happens is it won't display those informations from the MAK table, from the text table. So that is the use of this no text options. And you have a group, suppose I want to group based on uh, MTART, you can select this. So based on the material type, I want to group it and execute it. So you will get a, a count based on the MTART. So whatever you want, you just mention it here. Okay, and you have a sort option and sort sequence, sort type. So which field you want to sort, you have to use sort options and what is the sort type. Okay, descending or ascending, you can make it an aggregation. So everything over here, every column, you have this option, max, min, and average one. And sequence, uh, which one you want to uh, display as a first one. For example, what I have selected, material type and material now. I'm sorry, okay, let me take out this group. Okay, material and MT ART. So I want MT ART as a first in the sequence. So I use these options. Uh, so here I want material type as first and material number as the second one. So it should be swapped now. So now MT ART and then MAT now. So very simple options are available. It's it's very useful once you start looking at based on your functionality. So this is the options available here. Um, maybe uh, very simple options over here. And then background, yes, if you want to create based on your input, you can give an input. I didn't use input so far. It's same like I say 16 and 16 n. So if you can evolve, if you want, you can use an input and you can say background. It may be take time, you feel, then you can create a background job for that. Okay. Okay, LP server. Continue. Okay. Job name uh, SC sixteen hash. Okay, if you want other informations you can give, otherwise check it and confirm it. So you can see uh, for my scheduled. Okay, so if you go and see in the same 36, it's coming as a scheduled. Okay, you can just release it whenever you want. 
Mm, yeah, that's it about this fields and if you if you want to make a join. So now I'm going to make a join. So I'm using this option. Already there is a join with MERC. So I'm going to create a new one. Just click this button and enter the um, joins for MERC. Okay. MERB. And then click this option. If you want, give a this is optional. So MERC, if you want, you can add it. And and click create button then you this will open and this is for the secondary tables mara is our primary table and list out what are the secondary tables you want uh, in this example merc merd and uh, just select whatever output fields you want from the table and mention join conditions apart from that you have okay, well, nothing over here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do merc and Good. So I want just a plant, nothing much. I'm sorry, here it is. You have to select this one. And if you want more than one, so maybe batch management. Okay, connect these two and continue and join. Okay. Then you have to uh, create a connection. The secondary table is available. We need a connection between which fields to be connected in a join, right? So MATNR equal to MATNR. So for that, select this option and use the button called maintain detail just click then whatever table you selected that is that is displaying here merc now create the uh, the join conditions so using this create option just click create and you will get this is one of the things enable what is the table field so this is the table field from your secondary table uh, so you may you have to choose mara and what is the method I'm going with the reference. You have some other options also. We will see reference and constant now. So reference. And here F4, it won't come because the front table is missing. So just type Mara. Then do a F4, you will get it. Okay, continue. So nothing much here. So continue. There is no save option. It's like a pop-up window. So if you can if you use this execute button, then it will ask you want to you want to save this name, whatever name you can. I said yes. Okay. Then you have to choose. That is very important. Then it will reflect in your uh, auto join definition. Then you have to select this and execute it. So now what do you want? What I selected? If material type and material and continue. So you'll get the information. So this is from Mara. This is from um, MARC table. I didn't add MARC so far. And this is batch management plan. Okay. And go back. If you want to add, select this and click the button for edit. And click the edit option. Now, here you can add it. Just add one more row. I'm sorry. Just click create. Yeah. So create and MARC. Another one, if you are going to add more than one secondary table, make sure you are giving the sequence. Otherwise, you will get a, a different different um, output for every each and every execution. Reason behind this, if there is no sequence, it will automatically change the position. Okay, so make sure you are giving the sequence of your table, especially your secondary table. And from MARD, I want plant I selector, so storage location and period sorry we can't be here and this one also okay continue apply the changes so now what i'm going to do is select this merd click this button it's there and click the create button okay so here table field is matnr then method is reference and this is MATNR as we know the table uh, field and table name just type in there. Okay. Now continue apply the changes, save it, then execute. So two more fields added from MART. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a condition like I want to see only the value from MAPL as a plant. So this is coming under MARC. So go here and change. Select this. Keep it down. And I'm going to add one more. So that is um works if you are Here it is constant. 
okay uh, and apl within single course sorry okay and then if it is a constant use the option and what do you want like equal not equals i'm going to select the equal for my functionality so that is reflecting here okay that also you can able to add it in your join conditions so continue apply the changes yes save it and execute it maybe let's invalid here right so one minute let's go here change MERC cut it down continue is a MAPLS one minute work is planned right okay so there is no single course sorry about that just you mentioned whatever value over here but 003 has more i believe let me change to 003 or not equal to MEPL. maybe that will we'll check because well, i want to see more data mrc continue and not equal save it and execute it yeah so it'll get more values over here okay and if you want you can save this as a variant just save it and it, for table mara what is the variant you want to save so mara with rcr okay save variant was saved so then you can able to get the variant and for your next execution that is available in go to variants get just say four whatever variants it's available suppose more than one it's available just select it and you can get the variance here so this is a way it will help more compared to sc 16 and it's not only the browser to see uh, show the content of the table you can have your own joins based on your business functionality and another one is uh, settings so just go here more and you can see change settings option so here it's, it's similar for in the sa 16 what what you need to be um, checked or how you want to see the sa 16 hatch transaction so those are available here if you want to deactivate column with optimization or determine number of lines displayed so based on that it will, it will show how many lines displayed over here activate additional short field if you want so and then uh, technical column name leads you know, so far we have seen only the description if you want a technical name or technical view and everything over here and maximum number of fields to be added here what kind of uh, informations you want if you double click okay so those also here you can play around means you can change the options and then you can click save settings it will apply whatever select, select sorry settings you have in selected suppose i'm saying technical column name leads so Okay, save settings. Settings have been saved. Okay, you can see now. So, technical names are here. Okay, and execute. You can see all the technical names. So, this is that's very quite simple. It's available in your uh, settings option. So, other options are almost same like SE16N. Just um, uh, go through it, probably you might be able to understand it. So, Hopefully this might be helpful for you and uh, thank you so much for your time. Play around with this. If you have any questions, let me know and see you in the next video. Bye.